Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Tina. I just did a shopping haul for you guys. And now we're going to do a grapevine snowman wreath. So what you're going to need is this little snowman kit, which is the face, the arms, and his legs. Okay, and I got that from Craft Outlet. You're going to need... <coughs> floral picks of your choice <coughs> excuse me guys and I haven't decided if I'm gonna put a bow you're gonna need scissors a wire cutter excuse me okay so the first thing that I do <coughs> is I'm going to place my florals okay and I never secure them in the beginning until I'm sure this is where I want them to be okay and then I'm just going to go to the other side I hope you guys can see me Okay, and you gotta spread these picks out. So I think I'm gonna put some um, of the greenery bushes in. <clears throat> uh, which way? I think I'll bring this one down to the right. Okay. And you just want it touching the top of <clears throat> the one above it, okay? Let me spread these out a little bit here. Okay. Now, if this was something you were doing for yourself at home, you wouldn't even have to... Uh, I'm going to cut this one off. You wouldn't even have to tie them down. And you could just put your floral picks away and do it again next year. <laughs> I've done that. Oh my gosh. That wire is tough. So I'm going to bring this one in. It's a bigger one. And I want this one not to stab me. that too still too long oh my goodness I should get out my super duper okay let's try this again <laughs> let's try this again okay well, I'm going to put him there. And I'm going to stick this one in there, too. It's coming down because I don't want a big gap here at the bottom. Okay. Again, if I don't like the way these look, these come apart. This comes apart, and I don't like the way, the way that one is laying at all. Some of these wreath, <coughs> grapevine wreaths are hard. So I got a little bare spot there. So I'm going to put this one in here. Because I want this to be full. Okay. And there's this little pick. And that's where sometimes the little picks are nice. They just fill in perfectly. They're smaller picks. And it's okay to have one side 
with more. So now I'm going to go ahead and attach the snowman. And he comes with wires on the back, okay? So I just have to find a good place for him. <clears throat> So there's wires at the top. Looks there's four wires. So there's two on the top of his hat and then two at the bottom. So let's see where we want to go with this. And so you just you're gonna have to fight your way down with these wires through the grapevine. know if I'll need yeah I am gonna wire this bottom because he's a little bit loose so I'm just wherever I can get the wire to go through on the grapevine is where I'm getting them I'm sorry I know I'm my arms are in the way but I'm securing him so he doesn't go anywhere And I'll just go in with floral wire and wire those picks down once I know that's where I want them. So we got his head on. So let's see what we're going to do with his feet. bottom to the top of the wreath form. Make sure his legs are turned the right way. <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to tie it. Tie his leg. His legs want to move backwards. Get up there to the top. And I'll go back and I'll trim these wires or I'll get them pushed down. <clears throat> and now we'll put his little arms in. And so you're going to go in on the side of your grapevine wreath and push it through. And you're going to put that little arm up so we can see him and try to get him <clears throat> as even as you can. On the next side. Oh, you don't want to go in there, huh? It is such a rain. It's been raining here in Michigan for days, days, guys. I hope it doesn't rain on Saturday because, oh. That is so hard to do a craft show when you have to take all your stuff out and load it up. And where's your other wire at? Come here, guy. Where'd you go? Okay. Here we go, finally. Okay.
<clears throat> I might have to put a touch of glue down on these. Well, actually, they need the wires need to be tighter. Okay. So here we have this. Okay. Now we're going to cover this. So I have some more floral. And I'm going to put a bow down there. So I'm going to stick this floral in there. Okay. Let's get down here. I like a mixture of florals. I really, really do. And I'm going to put this one in this way. Okay. And so that will cover that nicely. And then this one can go in. I'm going to cut this off a little bit. I hope you guys can see well. Okay. Now, you know what? I think I'll leave that open for the bow. <clears throat> so I got a little space up here. I can stick it in. I'll probably play with this a hundred more times after I get off. So now to choose a ribbon. <clears throat> okay, excuse me, guys. Uh, should I do a snowman ribbon? Excuse me. I'm going to use my bow dabber because my hands are killing me in this rain. I'm just going to tie my wire down underneath the bow dabber and move him over so you can see. I had a, <clears throat> a little piece laying there off a bolt. So I'm just going to put it in there for a tail. So you just want to lay your tail in there. And I chose this one, this red and white. And we're going to make another tail. And I'm just putting my V cut in. So you just fold it in half and cut up on a slant. And I'm going to put that towel in there. Let me see if I have anything else. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to make this probably a 10 inch, 10. Uh, 10 <laughs> ribbon so five on each side okay and I'm going to make it a fairly a decent size it's probably five inch and so how you can tell if you're even when you start out is pull this up and if they match you're good And I'm going to keep these the same size, my loops. Keeping them the same. <clears throat> so you're just <clears throat> looping it and then you're going to twist because you want your pretty side of your ribbon up. If you don't twist, you'll get the back side. That's three. I'm twisting. 
You guys, if I'm going too fast, I did a Bodabra video. So you could go back and watch that. Oh, it's so much fun when your ribbon tangles. Okay, that's four. Five, so that's five on each side. And I think I'll do six. <laughs> Make it a nice rounded bow, 12 looper. Push that down. Oh my lord. Okay. So now I'm just going to fold over a little piece for my loop in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to get my wands, but it comes with the Bodabra, and I'm going to cut it off the bolt. Okay, so <clears throat> you can actually start fluffing this a little wee bit. Um while it's still on your bedabra. Okay, just pull them out. I'll fluff it more, of course, when he gets on the wreath, but this definitely helps. Okay, and push it down. <clears throat> so now I'm going to bring that wire up and I'm going to twist, take it down to the middle. And I'm going to gently pull my bow up. Okay, and then you're going to go around the back and tighten it. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm telling you guys to make a beautiful bow. It's all in the fluffing. Okay, and I will... Fluff it some more when I get it on here. There's my center loop. So I'm going to put this right here in between. And I'm going to get my floral stem wire down there. And I'm going to tighten this. And <clears throat> as you can see, this bow doesn't need much fluffing because I fluffed it while it was on the bow dabber. So let me see what he looks like. I have to tighten his legs, but can you guys see him? So here he is. And I might rearrange some of the <clears throat> things or to me this he bleh, this hat head looks a little small. So I might put on a bigger snowman head. I don't know. I should you now if you use a smaller um like this one probably would have been um perfect because it's much smaller. And it's not as wide to use that small of a head on there. So um, I might be able to put a different head on him. But then you got his arms and I think he's cute. And <clears throat> so I'm going to mess with it a little bit more before I tie everything down. But I just wanted to show you Mr. Snowman. Let's see if I can turn you this way a little bit. And he's cute. He is cute. So that's it, guys. That's how you make a floral 
Um, oh, see, his legs bend. There we go. That's cute. Okay. <clears throat> so thank you. <laughs> if you're new and this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you haven't subscribed, I would so appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share. Um, <clears throat> so until I do the next DIY, which I don't know if I'll do one <clears throat> um, tomorrow or not, since I'm going to be so busy getting ready for Saturday. But if not, it'll be next um, week for sure. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed weekend. Take care. Spend time with your loved ones. And until the next DIY, guys, ciao. God bless.